Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at art to life and I want to talk today about fear and the different kinds of fear and how fear is helpful and also can hold us back in our art uh, in a major way. You know, a uh, long time ago, uh, my girlfriend and I, one of my dreams was to sail around the world and, and I thought, well, I need to get some experience with this and I, we were in uh, Fiji and I, we swam out to this guy who was cruising on a sailboat and befriended this old guy and we ended up going with him and becoming friends with him and he invited us to go on this, uh, continue with him around the world on a sailboat, which is what I wanted to do. And uh, anyway, long story short, uh, this guy was kind of like a crazy lunatic guy and uh, kind of a survivalist and we didn't know that at the time, but when we got out to sea, uh, he didn't have any navigation. Uh, he was using a sextant and everything, but and, and the boat was not outfitted with like emergency style. All of this I kind of learned <laughs> once we were at sea. But a, a massive tropical depression came uh, about a week um, off the coast of Fiji, and um, it was so terrifying. I mean, those huge—that's like a two or three steps just below a hurricane. And this little sailboat is a forty-foot sailboat. It's just my girlfriend and I and this weird guy, John. And the waves were just massive above the mast and then the sail broke and we were just like a cork bobbing out there. And, and I really, I really uh, thought we were going to die. I, I was so terrified and I, I vowed never to give my life or the control of my life to somebody. I mean, it was just, and it went for days. It took us eight days to get, and we finally did get off this boat and there's a whole other story to that. But, um, and we left that boat. We didn't continue with this guy, but that experience when I was thinking about fear and, and the two kinds of fear, um, that, that is a real. And, and when, when there's things that in your life where it, you, you are so terrified and, and there's, a, there's a really good reason for it. And so I wanted to talk about that because I call that fear, um, and this is kind of my first point, the, these two kinds of fear, I call that bear fear. <laughs> it's like the fear when a bear comes into your kitchen and is uh, and is, you know, gonna gonna uh, eat you, you know. And um, this is this is kind of fear that um, it doesn't happen very often. Like that sailboat thing. That was like a real a real uh, a real incident of fear. And, and for good reason, like you're going to die, you know, and, and this is, you know, here's like you running away, you know, from this, maybe you were um, doing your art, you know, in a meadow and here's your fallen Julian easel, you know, and this huge bear comes and it's going to eat you like this is, this is bear fear. This is real fear. And it's important that the adrenaline and the stress and everything increases. But there's also fake fear and bear fear really, like I was trying to think in my mind and like that incident on the boat, that happened like I was 23 years old and I'm trying to think of when was I really scared. This doesn't happen, like this doesn't happen a lot. It, it happens, you know, I mean, th the other day I was walking down to my houseboat and there was some noise and there's a raccoon that lives under, under the dock and it was kind of scary, you know, but not really. I mean, Maisie just growled at this thing, you know, but so anyway, this is just not, doesn't happen a lot, but fake fear is the fear we have. Um, we, we have this fear about judgment, right? Like for our art, you know, whatever our art is that we're going to do something and people aren't going to like it, you know, like we have the fear of, you know, in our brain, um, you know, here's our brain, we're, we're perceiving what people think about us or, or the, you know, ideas that aren't even real, you know, like having a, a thought about something that hasn't happened yet that you're very fearful of. And it hasn't even happened and it probably won't happen, but that you, you're, you still have that fear. You have a fear, you know, irrational fear of stepping in a hole and, and falling in a hole and disappearing, you know, like this could happen. You know, I could be walking down the street and, and, and just fall into something and never find my way home or, or, you know, my cat, you know, my cat, um, what will stop being kind to me and dislike me and leave, you know, like there's all this, this, this fear is like 0.001% of the time. 
this thing and it's important and it's valid, all this stuff isn't really, uh, it isn't really helpful um, if it holds you back. Now, the thing about this is, you know, this fake fear is that um, we can use this in our art. There's a vulnerability that comes from trying something new. It's this kind of fear. It's the fear that's not going to hurt you. Nothing's going to happen over here if you choose a wild color and paint something different or you paint bigger or maybe it doesn't turn out right, you know, or maybe you have to start over. You know, that fear you have just starting something and, and doing something different. But understand that this, first of all, won't hurt you. It happens 99% of the time. And in art, it's almost, you want to mind shift on it. You can use this. This is the secret sauce to making powerful work because the, when we, when we uh, feel vulnerable, when we're not sure of what we're doing, and that's when we're fearful, we don't know the outcome and all that, we have to rely on our intuition. And we're just, it's just our hunch. It's our close the eyes and try something. And when we use our intuition, that's when our soul, the inside of ourselves, is, is making those marks. We're deriving information and direction in our art from the inside of ourselves. And when we do that, what's so cool is the art becomes more and more like ourselves. And it makes powerfully different art. This is needed and so great in our art. This is what connects people to. And, and when you make work that is, you, you haven't figured it all out, like understand that those marks and portions of your painting that you weren't sure about, it's really good to have that in the work. When we figure it all out and we put all the ingredients together and we cross the T's and dot the I's and it's all figured out, it's, it's actually not that interesting. It's not that interesting for you, and it kind of translates to the viewer. Crazy art that like people love and just they connect to it, it has emotion. It's got vulnerability in it, and this is so important, and this is what people are buying. They will connect with you when you, have, when you expose this part of yourself. It's, it's really that, um, it's, it's that critical to have it in your work. If to make amazing art, this whole idea about vulnerability and not knowing is what I work with really advanced people, people who are really far along, how to take their art that much further. It's like not getting comfortable with not knowing and really going out on the skinny branches of your art making. Bring that into your practice and it will really, really help your work. You know, not knowing in, in all other fields, like, you know, if you're, if you design bridges and you're not sure of the load of a dump truck going across the bridge, like, it's not desirable to not know all the information. It's, it's not desirable to be unsure, to be unsure <laughs> of, uh, the glue that you're using to put these, uh, foam core pieces on. But anyway, it, it's okay. Like, when, when things don't perfectly work out, perfect example, People connect to it because it's like, oh my God, this person is just like me. I totally, I totally get this. But when we're not sure, in all the other fields, that is sort of like a demerit. And we carry that thinking over into our art making. But in art making, it's awesome to not know. It's, we want to have that in the work. A percentage of that needs to be in the work. So that's kind of, you know, that's the idea here. And, and you, you can like, go and accept this part of yourself, part of this, this sort of fear that it doesn't mean anything and don't treat it like that 1% fear, that's the bear fear that's like a real thing. Really consider this differently and don't get stressed out about it and don't let it ruin you and hold you back. Walk into it, embrace it, and understand that it's, it's the secret sauce to making your art super, super strong. All right, that's all I got for you. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, and the, we got this free workshop. It's going to be amazing starting April 26th. Click on the link below or go to arttolifeworkshop.com and sign up. And um, yeah, we're, we're going crazy here. We got so much stuff. We're piling into this thing. It's going to be really, really fun. If nothing else, you got to come and meet all these people because we're going to have a ton of people from all over the world. You're going to meet a lot of new people. It's going to be a ton of fun. Can't wait to see you there. All right. Take care. Thanks.